Yeah, it was such a pleasure talking with you. No problem. And anytime I need uh, my vacuum fixed, I'll be sure to come here. Well, yeah, I hope the, so. I, I, will know, I will go nowhere else. And beyond that... Not even Bates Vacuum. Uh, yeah. You know, they're... Uh, man, but look at these Dysons, There's though. There's a little different program over there at Bates. These Dysons are incredible. Gosh, I mean, these are just vintage. Look at that. That's incredible. I really like these uh, Ricars. Ricars good. Stuff. The, the, they really got... Oh, you got a couple right here. All the dark corners. Oh, yeah. Good timing because earlier today I finally cut all these single cords. We recycle the cords at least. We'd like to recycle more of them. Oh, really? Trying to really tear a machine completely apart. So we tear a lot of stuff apart. Can you recycle cords, motors, stuff that's taken up? Yeah. That's incredible. I love, I love how you gave me a tour of these, these vintage ones right here too. Yeah, these these are sharp. I really, I like the uh, the bag, the old vintage bag vacuums. Now they're they're just those are just, you know. Is there a specific term for those called, with the bag, or is it just a bag upright vacuum? It's a category. It's an upright vacuum. Okay. And that, we call them a traditional upright as opposed to, different people want to call them different things. But the thing is, it's, people will say sometimes when they come in and they see the new sanitaires out there, oh, they look so old fashioned. So, no, they're not old fashioned, they're traditional. And they're really good at what they do. Oh, yeah, absolutely. They're not for everybody. You know, if you want to have a panel with attachments on it, then there are two on board items that you'll buy. But for the person that wants something really good to clean company, and that's their main objective. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The tool on board upright, you love using those attachments around with you everywhere you go, and you don't need them, you may not ever use them. Sure. Like these, as we talked about the sanitaires, I really love these sanitaires. You know, the residential and uh, even the commercial sanitaires are, are cool too. Those are heavy duty. The same thing. They're, they're, but, they're um, the same thing. That was always the thing that, that was good about the sanitizer. You got a commercial grade machine with that amount of power and that quality for home use. Oh, yeah. And then the full commercial version, it would have had the three wire cord, which we have now. Most modern homes or even older homes that have been updated. And if you, if you don't already have ground and outlands, you don't have I gotta say, 
I, you know what? You taught me a lot about Ricard, because I only learned about Ricard like a few months ago. I never knew anything about them. But uh, I, these are a very, very nice vacuum cleaner. We and were building cleaners in the U.S. for 80 years until COVID. And it wasn't because of COVID. It was the, the that It's a nice vacuum right here, you guys. Look at that red car. And an instant. Well, they had been cloning, I guess, for a while. Although, we didn't really tell the dealers like that. To take the building back to China. Oh, okay. You, as we talked about that too, that is a shame because you know it's a shame that we have our products today being built in other countries and they're selling them for you know. Old Royal. So what do you do?